welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today's video is the fall favorites tag. Jacqueline Hill did this, uh, created it actually, and she posted hers in September, I believe. But I know I'm a little late to the train, but I thought, you know what, better late than never. And it's still fall time, especially where I live. Um, I live in Toronto, Ontario. Uh, I know in my hometown, Sault Ste. Marie, they've been getting a little bit of snow, but it's definitely fall is still in full swing here in Toronto. So. I decided to do it now. I have a list of questions on my handy dandy iPad. So let's jump right into this, shall we? Okay, so first question is favorite fall candle. Now, I am a candle addict, as I'm sure a lot of girls are. I just think it completely changes the atmosphere in your room when you have a candle burning. I also really like to burn candles at nighttime. I like the little flame and the ambiance that it gives. So I'm addicted. I go to Bath and Body Works way too often. Um, I used to also burn, I don't know where they went, but um, candles from Party Light as well. I don't know if you guys remember it, but um, they used to like do parties in home and stuff. You can salt and come to your home and do parties and stuff. Those candles were amazing, but I feel like the quality has dropped in the last few years with them. So I've been going to Bath and Body Works and I find them really affordable as well. So let's get into my favorite scents. So I have three. I figured it was okay to pick three because Jacqueline picked three and I could pick just one. So I have three favorites for different reasons. So the first one being salted caramel corn. Oh my god, this just, this smells like heaven. It is really sweet, so it's definitely not for the faint-hearted. If you don't like sweet candles, you will not like the scent. But if you love sweets, like myself, you will die over this. It's so, so good. It's just like, oh my god, it just smells like caramel. Honestly, you can't really smell like, you can smell a little bit of the corn aspect. But honestly, it's pretty much just like... A caramel candle and it smells freaking bomb I love this one as you can see I've burnt quite a little bit of it so love this one then I also have brown sugar allspice this one is amazing as well this one smells more um, like apples and sugars and spices a little spicier than the last one more fresh as well so this one is really good for daytime too and oh my god I have bought this every single year for the last I would say like three or four years like this is my ride or die fragrance this one is the marshmallow fireside holy shit can I say shit because this one I swear to god is so freaking good I only like this one generally at nighttime because I feel like it's more of a nighttime scent um it's just bomb like it smells if you've ever had a bonfire you know that smell of like the toasted charcoal and the, the wood like the the fire the firewood and then that really sweet kind of marshmallow it's like the perfect mix of sweet and woodsy and manly I don't know this one this is brand new because I've been hoarding them and they changed the packaging over the last few years too I really like the white barn um, kind of packaging. I feel like it's a little more um, sleek and sophisticated as opposed to like this packaging. It's still really cute, but I really like this packaging. But I did have um, the old one, like like that one had the old packaging. And these, I've I have like so many of these back up because oh god. And I, like I'll burn this in the summer too because. In the summer, you have bonfires. It's not just a fall scent for me. I burn this all year long. It is amazing. I could talk about this forever and ever, but I won't. If you haven't smelled this, oh my god, you're missing out. Like, for reals. Go smell this candle. Sorry, I need a little hot cocoa break. All right. Second question. Favorite fall lip color? The one I'm wearing right now. It is MAC Rebel. So this one here is a berry. It looks a lot darker in the tube than it does on your lips because it does sheer out a little bit. But I don't mind that. When you first put it on and if you layer it, it is a little bit more of this like berry purple. But then as you wear it throughout the day and it does stain your lips a little bit, it'll go a little bit light pink. 
um, kind of like this one I have going on right now. I just love this color. It's a satin, so it's still comfortable on the lips. It's not super matte. Lasts a long time, and it's just that like perfect berry fall color. Love it! Favorite drink. Favorite drink to make at home? Hot chocolate. Absolutely amazing. And if you want to get fancy, you can put like other little seasonings in it as well. You can put like cinnamon. Um, I like to put like an actual cinnamon stick or you can put like cinnamon powder. I also love to mix, um, if you want to get super festive for fall, you can mix like pumpkin puree or like the pumpkin pie filling into that as well. Amazing. But hot chocolate is amazing to make at home. And then if I'm out, I like to hit up Tim Hortons. Shout out to all my Canadians. And I like to get a French vanilla. Mm, so good. Next question is favorite blush. And right now, and I don't know, forever, I have been obsessed with Milani's Coralina. It is like a coral kind of blush. It's pretty peachy. It's got some shimmer. You can't really see my swatch. Let me try to see it. Kind of see it. It's just beautiful. It's a little more coral than um, I would normally wear, but I feel like for fall you can get away with wearing a little more blush, especially, I don't know, because I tend to wear heavier makeup in the fall as well. I usually go for more of a full face because in the summer you're like melting. It's super hot. Your makeup is washing off. Who wants to wear a full face of makeup in the summer, right? Not me. So this one is my go-to. Next up is favorite clothing item. And for me, I'm going to have to say jackets. I have a few different jackets that I love to wear in the fall. Uh, I have one from Forever 21. It's actually that one right there. It's kind of like a khaki kind of coat. It's a little bit longer too. It hits almost to my knees. Um, I also have like a bomber jacket that has like the fleece and then like the leather sleeves. I can't wear jackets in the summer. I can't wear sweaters in the summer. I only ever wear t-shirts because it's so freaking hot. And I generally tend to run hot. So I cannot deal with that. So the fall time lets me play up with fashion and layering. So I also love scarves as well. But my favorite fall item is this coat right here. Um, it was actually, my mom purchased this. It was off, I think, the website Zulily. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure she ordered it off there. But their sizing is super weird. And this one, uh, the sleeves were just a bit too long for my mom. So she gave it to me and I freaking love it. It's like a really pretty plum kind of color. It has that like faux satin lining, I guess. Um, and it's like a tr like a trench kind of pea coat. So it has the buttons all on the front and then it also has the pocket with the buttons as well. So I'm really into it. And then the sleeves are full leather sleeves and then they have buttons as well. I don't know. I just think this looks really, really cute. And then the back detail I could show you too. Uh, and then in the back, there's just like one button in the middle of the coat. Um, it's just like a normal length. It's not really long. It's not really short. And I feel like it looks really cute with a pair of jeans and booties and just like a gray t-shirt underneath or anything like that. I don't know. I just absolutely love this coat. And I love coats for fall, especially when it gets a little chillier, like November, and it's still hot. Like, I swear to God, I'm dying right now. I usually have the fan on. It's hot as hell. I can't. Global warming people, it is real. Next question is favorite fall movie. I cannot pick just one, but what I will tell you is I like anything magical and witchy. So for me, what I always looked forward to was like the family channel Halloween movies. So like Halloween Town. I um, also really loved the one with the two sisters, uh, Tia Mari, Tia and Tamara. Um, oh crap. I can't remember what it's called, but like, you know, all of those like witchy movies, Hocus Pocus, like I really, but truly, I loved like the Disney channel. They're so cheesy, but they're so good. Like Halloween Town, I've seen every single one obsessed. I still watch them. I, I love them. Favorite fall TV show has been how to get away with murder. That show, I swear to God. Oh, I watched, my boyfriend and I, Miles watched, I think there's two seasons. We watched the first season in like two days. It was on another level. Like I couldn't stop watching it. It's so suspenseful and so intense and there's so much drama that it's just like you don't want to stop watching it. And now we've been waiting every Thursday for it to come on. And I hate following TV shows 
like when they're live like I do not follow TV shows I wait till they're on Netflix and then I binge watch but this I have to say how to get away with murder is like the only show that I've been able to actually keep up with because I just can't wait for Thursday like I get so excited and I'm like it's how to get away with murder night oh my god like it's so good if you haven't seen it go watch it if you don't like kind of like crime and drama murder shows you're obviously not gonna like this one but if you do, you're going to be obsessed and you're going to love it. It's on Netflix the first season and then the second season is um, airing right now, if I'm not mistaken. So, go check it out. Second last question is favorite Thanksgiving food. When I think of Thanksgiving, the first thing that pops in my head is turkey. I personally am not much of a meat eater. Like, I eat it, but it's not, like, my favorite thing. I have, like, cousins, aunts and my sister that will like kill each other over the skin of the turkey and I'm just like that's weird but my favorite favorite Thanksgiving food is the the stuffing you guys oh my god my family when we have Thanksgiving the stuffing is just so freaking bomb and it's the worst because the stuffing is like the least amount of food like there's always tons of mashed potatoes if they make pierogies there's tons of pierogies tons of turkey there's turkey to go around for days but the stuffing there's always like one little bowl of stuffing and everyone like fights over it and I'm always like okay did everyone have their first plate is there, did everyone have their first plate okay cool it's time for seconds and I'm like add the stuffing bowl like it's so good it's my favorite absolute favorite part of Thanksgiving I just wish that there was more to go around I'm gonna have to just get like my own little turkey and make the stuffing and then just eat the stuffing by myself and then like give away the turkey or something. And for those of you that don't know, uh, in Canada we already have our Thanksgiving. It was actually last month in October. So it's long gone, but that's okay. Uh, Christmas is coming up. That also means turkey, stuffing, the jams. I'm excited. Oh, a special side note as well to pierogies. I don't know if you guys have pierogies at Thanksgiving, but Mmm. Mm -mm. Progies with onions, bacon, and sour cream. I die. Last but not least, favorite Halloween costume of all time that I've ever been. <sighs> There's just so many. There have been so many in my 22 years of life. Um, I have to say, there was one year, I think it was grade grade seven or eight I'm not a hundred percent sure but my mom also loves Halloween like obsessed with Halloween same with my sister we all love it my dad he usually gets in the spirit too like I remember this one year that he um, pretended that he was stuffed and then when people would walk by he would like scare them it was amazing um, but my mom like I always looked forward to going shopping with my mom and my sister every year to get a costume and I remember this one particular year uh, we had to dress up at school and I had no idea what I wanted to be and I wasn't sure but my mom is very creative with these things too so we came up with this crazy like just this like crazy woman costume that's pretty much what I was like I had this wig and it was like a reddish maroon hair color and it was like hair horns and then just like crazy curly red hair and then I wore like work boots, a skirt and like this weird vest. It was like the most random costume and when people were like, what are you? I'm like, whatever you want me to be. Like I didn't even know what I was. I was just like this crazy person. I don't know, like this fictional character but it was so fun to pick the costume and it was such a weird random costume that that one always stands out to me because I've been like the basic like I've been a cat like twice I've, and like this year as a bunny and I don't know like I've been like the basic things but I feel like when you come up with your own costume or just like throw things together it's always more fun so there's that one I really liked that one so that guys wraps up the fall favorites tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're watching it, I tag you to also do this video if you haven't already. If you have, let me know in the comments down below. I definitely want to check it out. And if you haven't, post it and then let me know so I can go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Tell me your favorite fall favorites down below if you don't want to make a video because I am dying to know about all your fall favorites. If you have any drink recommendations or new candles that I should check out, holla. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out all of my other social medias. I have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everything is the same here. It's Blush Daisies. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.